A few days ago, I made a video about the seven best ways to make money online in 2020. Now in that video, while I got a lot of positive feedback from people and some really nice comments, I also got a little bit of constructive feedback saying that Fiverr, one of the websites I had suggested using, isn't actually that great for, my, for making money online. There has been a huge influx of users to Fiverr recently and the quality of the gigs being sold and bought is apparently quite low. So I wasn't really sure if I should be recommending it to you guys um, as a website to use and to make money if it's actually not a very good website at all. So I decided to challenge myself for the weekend. It's now lunchtime on Friday. So I've got the whole weekend, about 48 hours, um, to see how much money I can make on Fiverr. So I've set up a profile. Um, I went on Canva and I made like um, some cool templates with like my nice picture and then the list of things I can do like SEO optimization, content writing, blog articles, etc, etc. And then I watched a few videos on YouTube actually to see, I don't know, how, how do you get your first gig on Fiverr? How do you, how do you find your first clients? And they recommended sharing on your personal profile page because you know, you might have 400 Facebook friends or 2,000 Facebook friends and maybe some people will need some work done. And they also said to share on your LinkedIn, which I have not used in about five years, but I shared it on both of them anyway. And I've been waiting about an hour now and uh, <laughs> no orders have come in, <laughs> which I'm pretty sad about because, well, I'm planning to make this whole video about like making money on Fiverr and uh, <laughs> I haven't got any orders yet. So maybe you guys are right. Maybe Fiverr is rubbish and you can't get any work. So let's see, I'll update you later. Good news guys, I just got my first order on Fiverr. I'm over the moon. Now it's just the, the very simple order. I have three categories. One is like 25 euro, one is 40 and one is 60. Um, and the lowest category is like um, 600 words, I think it is. Uh, no, 500 words, 500 words for $25. And someone has just ordered one of those articles. So it's a start, I'm not gonna make loads of money but hopefully the article isn't too difficult um, and I can get it done and hopefully I'll get some more orders. So I'm excited, I got my first article order. It's Saturday morning now. Uh, yesterday I actually only got one order, so it was a little bit disappointing, but I was also kind of excited, so I got to work on that, um, on that order and I delivered it, I think, within three hours. So I was trying to get all my orders done within 24 hours because, like I said, I wanna try and make as much money from Fiverr as possible over this weekend. So anyway, I've just woken up and I've got two new orders, which I'm really excited about. One is for a much longer article, so it's worth a lot more money. It's um, for $60 and it's a 1,000 word article about Bali, which is where I was living before, so it's easy enough to write. And then there's another article, um, I think it's $40, so 800 words and that's about Ireland which is obviously where I'm from where I live so that should be easy to do as well it's Saturday normally I take the day off and just relax I've actually got like probably gonna have to work all day today but uh, that's fine this is all for you guys it's all an experiment let's see how much money I can make 48 hours on Fiverr okay as you can see by Sunday morning I actually had four new articles and I had completed one article and one of my articles was already late. I was like nine hours delayed as I wasn't quick enough delivering my articles. I had promised to do them in 24 hours and one, at least one of them I was late in delivering it and still haven't actually finished it. Okay guys, it is Sunday afternoon and I've written all of my articles except one. Uh, some took me a little bit longer than others even though I am quite a fast writer. So I don't know if you were, I guess, a slower writer than me, uh, it would definitely be hard to keep up with the 24 hour deadline, which I did give myself to be fair. You can, you can deliver the articles in two days or three days. You can set that yourself on Fiverr. But as you can see, I have, um, got my computer here. Yeah, so I have delivered one, two, three, four orders and I have one and I am late, I'm very late. I've delivered Delivery time, nine hours and 48 minutes late and I still haven't finished it. So I'll send that a little bit later um, before my 48 hour deadline is up. And then I can uh, post this video and tell you guys what I think of Fiverr. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know guys, this is a lot of work um, for not very much pay and my rates are like higher than a lot of people on Fiverr, you know, some people's rates start at like 5, 10, 15 dollars, mine start at like 25 and 40, so I'm, on a, I'm honestly not sure if Fiverr is a good idea, um, you have to do quite a lot of work for not a lot of money, it's difficult enough to get gigs as the competition is so fierce and there are some pretty tight um, deadlines so I found myself working pretty much on my computer all day yesterday and all day today to try and get these articles finished. <sighs> Back to work. Okay guys, my 48 hours is officially up. Time to close the computer. Um, I set up my profile on Friday afternoon around lunchtime and then I shared my profile to my Facebook page and also to my LinkedIn. I got a total of five different orders uh, from five different people ranging from $25 up to $60 I think was the top one and in total for the last 48 hours I earned $185. But I have been working non-stop on these articles, like they range from 600 words to 1000 words and a lot of research was needed so honestly I was working like all day yesterday and all day today on these articles. It was a lot of work for not really a lot of money if, if I'm fair. The other thing I would like to say is that almost all of these gigs seemed to come from people that were referred from Facebook, so people I knew or people I sort of knew um, on my Facebook page. So definitely if you want to make money on Fiverr, you need to start by getting a few clients and a few reviews. So whether that's like maybe starting your price really low, like maybe $5 and asking friends to order from you and then you ordering for friends. So you can kind of do a swap and maybe do that for like four or five people um, and that should get your first few orders. Uh, it will really only cost you about one dollar, so Fiverr will take like I think one dollar cut, um, they take 20%. So you'll lose a dollar, your friend will lose a dollar, but you get a review on your profile. So if you do that with four or five friends, it should only cost you five dollars and you'll get um, five reviews. And I do think you need reviews before you start getting any sort of work on Fiverr. Like I'm a really experienced journalist, I've got 10 years blogging experience, I've written for top publications, set up what I think was quite a nice looking profile. And the only hits and orders I got were people that were referred from LinkedIn and Facebook. So I did not, in these 48 hours, get any direct sales from people on Fiverr because there is just too much competition. So I think in summary, I wanted to say, I don't know if Fiverr is a good website to use and I'm not sure really if I should have recommended it. Um, it is tricky. You have to do a lot of work for not very much money. It's quite difficult to get clients. There's a lot of competition. Uh, Fiverr takes a cut of your money. They take 20%. So even if you say $25 is your rate, somebody pays you $25, you only get $20, $20 at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, a lot of work for not a lot of money. Um, it's hard to find clients and you're definitely not gonna get rich. So, thank you for watching. I hope it's at least been helpful. Um, whether you choose to use Fiverr or not is up to you, but I will include a link below, which is a referral link um, that you can sign up to Fiverr using that link if you like. Um, stay home, stay safe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.